Hi there, Toy here, and today I thought I'd talk a little bit about TV. So, it's been about 10 years since I've actually had cable TV. And believe it or not, I'm not insane. <laughs> I discovered a long time ago that if you have the internet and you're not in a hurry, you'll eventually get to see whatever it is you're missing on cable. Plus, a lot of streaming services now have original programming of their own. So you don't really, for me anyway, I don't really need cable. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I'm missing out on, I guess. I mean, like I said, I feel like I'll get to it eventually. Besides, I also enjoy going to the movies. I read a lot of books. So any television that I'm not seeing now, I'm okay with. Because like I said, I'll get to it eventually. With that said, I was trying to think of some new content to share with you guys. So I thought I would talk about some of the stuff I actually am watching on Netflix and Amazon Prime on regular television. <laughs> I spend a lot of time watching like uh, PBS shows. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that today though. But anyway, so I'm not going to go through a backlog because there's all kinds of television shows that I could talk about. But I'm just going to talk about some of the stuff I've watched recently. And if I feel the need to, you know, know the names of actors and stuff like that, I'll look it up on my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and get my glasses on just in case I need to do that. So right now I'm going to talk about, I guess, unexpected TV shows that I've been watching. So because, like I said, I haven't had cable in two years, a lot of times I go back and I watch TV shows that I never watched in the past just because either I didn't think about watching them or I didn't have access to them. And I think the show that I'm about to mention, I've had access to it for a long time. I've just never watched it. It was recommended because I watched like Supernatural. So I thought I'd check it out. And that is Being Human. Now there's a British version and an American version of the show Being Human. I tried to watch the British version and I just, I couldn't get into it, which is really shocking because usually if there's a, like a, if the British version came first, I always like it better than the American version. But this time around, I don't know what it was. I just couldn't get into it. So I went back and I watched, um, I, I'm assuming it's all four seasons because the way it ended, I'm pretty sure that was the series finale. So I went back and watched the show being human and i thought it was a pretty good paranormal drama i liked the premise you got a vampire a werewolf and a ghost who then ends up becoming like a witch ghost or something hope that wasn't a spoiler for someone i mean this show is off the air now it's on netflix so sorry uh wasn't the like best show i ever watched it wasn't like something that i had to just keep watching every day i didn't binge it i watched it over a couple of weeks we had some snow days where i live so i got to watch a lot of it then just because i had nothing better to do so i thought it was an entertaining show where i live we've have we've had a couple of comic cons where the actors who played those characters have come so i've seen some of those guys like live and in person i haven't shaken their hands or anything like that but i mean, i've seen them so it was really cool to see that they pretty much look in real life how they look on TV. <laughs> the guy who plays the um, the vampire, they didn't have to do a whole lot of makeup for him except for when his fangs came out. I thought that was really interesting. I just knew they had done something to that guy. But no, that's really what he looks like. So anyway, I watched Being Human. Something else I recently watched. Um, oh, this is actually a new show that's an original program on Netflix, and that is The Indian Detective. It's really funny. I mean, I've only watched one episode. Again, this isn't television that I'm like binging um, at this point. Although if I'm doing this for the whole year, I'm sure I'll get to a couple of episodes, um, a couple of shows that I will be binge watching. All right, so the main character is Russell Peters, and he's a comedian, so if you follow comedians, you know who Russell Peters is, and he's a really funny comedian, at least I think he is. So he got his own Netflix show. William Shatner is in it. At least he was in the first episode. I don't know how much um, he's in the whole show, and I think he's going to be like the bad guy because, you know, <laughs> that's Shatner. And so he's basically like this Canadian cop who wants to be a detective, but he's like a fumbling idiot. So he gets suspended. He goes to visit his dad in um, Mumbai, I think. And um, while he's there, 
he ends up helping some people actually solve some cases. So that's the premise of the show. And episode one, I thought was really funny. So I think it's something that me and my husband are going to watch together on those um, nights that, you know, we don't have anything else to do. So Indian Detective, if you've got it on Netflix and you like a good comedy, I would say check, check it out. Another thing that I'm watching on Netflix right now, this is where the geek in me comes in, is a documentary series called Myth and Monsters. And it's basically all of these British professors <laughs> talking about mythology, how much truth there is to some of it, how it correlates to human nature and human beings and modern times and blah, 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 blah. But <laughs> it actually is a really um, cool series. I mean, especially if you're into mythology, they do some really cool animation for it. The guy who hosts the show, which I can't tell you his name right now. I don't feel like looking it up. Um, he has a very like commanding voice. So he's the kind of he's the kind of voice that, you know, you have people who are professional storytellers, and I'm pretty sure that's like what this guy does. So it's a really good series. And again, it's not something that I'm binging. It's just something if I, you know, if I just want like an hour. I think they're 45 minutes to so just, you know, kind of veg out and maybe, you know, <laughs> not rot my brain because it's educational. I'll watch that. So that's something else I'm watching. Here is something that I consider unexpected TV. Um, if you have Amazon Prime, you have access to Amazon TV. And one of the shows that I decided, me and my husband decided to check out because literally, like I said, we had a bunch of snow days. We couldn't go anywhere. And we did binge this one. <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Johnson. It's 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 kind of like the Expendables movie, but like different. I don't know how to explain it to you really. Jean-Claude Van Damme, if he if he is like the executive producer of this show, which I would hope he would be, he's a genius or whoever wrote the show because basically what they do is he's playing himself but it's like a total spoof they come up with this story that the reason why Jean-Claude Van Damme has been making all these horrible movies all these years is because they are a cover for him to be this like international assassin and it is so funny it, it's just I don't I mean when I watch this, I do lose brain cells. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the only thing that I'm going to kind of throw out there for the people who will watch this show and get it, because not everybody's going to get it. But for those who do, I'll just say this. I love coconut oil and I can use coconut milk in certain products and stuff. But I have tried to drink coconut water and it's nasty. If you like it, that's fine, but I think it's nasty. But if you watch Jean-Claude Van Johnson, you may find some other uses for coconut water. That's all I'll say. So that is some um, unexpected television or surprising television, amusing television that I've been watching on the internet because I don't have cable. And so I just want to know, have you seen it? Did you like any of this stuff or not like it? Tell me something that you're watching. Maybe I'll check it out. Remember that I am limited to regular broadcast television. I can get like ABC, NBC, Fox, stuff like that. Uh, Netflix and Amazon. So that's what I'll be watching. If you want to give me something to look up, let me know. That's all for now. Bye-bye.